Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. So it has been a minute since I have done a speed paint video. Feeling a little bit rusty on the mic, but yeah, let's get into it. So this piece here, I think one of the biggest pieces that I did, yeah, if apart from my mural that I did, definitely the biggest piece that I painted in 2018. So I wrapped up this piece a week before Christmas. Um, so yeah, I've had this one uh, up my sleeve for quite some time and it's taken me a minute to post one because I needed to take a break as you guys know. I was pretty burnt out by the end of the year and I needed to chill for a second and uh, also if you guys don't know I live in Australia so it is summer at the moment and it is really really difficult to get your stuff together in summer. I don't have air conditioning and it's just oftentimes way too hot and I'm feeling completely uninspired to work. <laughs> um, but I've been pushing through. Do not worry, been pushing through. Yeah, so if you guys are following me on Instagram, you will have seen the final piece of this painting or the final version of it. Now I did, now, oh, that's right, that's where I was going. The second reason it's taken me a second to upload this is because I feel like I struggled quite a lot with this piece. And although I do like the final outcome and the client is happy, uh, I am personally don't feel like it's one of my favorites in any way. Uh, I do enjoy a couple of elements and I'll get more into that as we go on. But yeah, I'm just, I like it, but I'm not in love with it, you know? It's an okay piece. Um, I do really like, anyway, I'll talk about the elements that I like and that I don't like in a second. But let me just tell you a, a little brief um, history of how this commission piece came about and the story behind it. So this piece here was commissioned by a regular client of mine. She has quite a few pieces of mine and she oftentimes hangs them in her child's room. So this piece is really dedicated uh, for her daughter and the gorilla in this piece is based on one of her soft toys. So if you guys have been following my work for quite some time, you may know that the work that I have been doing in the last two or three years is all about joy and nostalgia and happiness. It's like the little tiny bit that I feel that I can do to bring some kind of positivity to the world. Uh, a lot of my earlier work was pretty brutal and visceral and so I just feel like I think it, it, I'm just really happy that I've been attracting a lot of this like playful happy childlike kind of sensibility with my work so I thought the brief was really cute um, she requested a couple of bees as well I think because she, she had um, some soft toys that were bees too and those were her favorites so I just imagine that these two characters you know were in a cute little swamp land <laughs> um, and the gorilla was like almost lost and he found a bee friend to take care of him. So I thought it was pretty cute and uh, you can see that in the expression of the gorilla as well. He looks really like cute and lost. <laughs> but let me take you into elements that I don't like so you can understand where I'm coming from. I think a big problem for my work has been um, perspective and environments. It's definitely my weakest point and it really frustrates me. Uh, I think the perspective in this piece is completely off, uh, which was pointed out to me halfway through when I was painting this piece. And I just had an instinct that there was something wrong with the piece, but I couldn't quite work out what, and I think that was it. Um, not that that really is a make it or break it, but I just felt I had a I had a gut instinct that something was wrong and then it was pointed out to me and then it was like oh now I can't fix it it's too late but oh well what are you gonna do so if you guys saw I did have um, some tape for a second because I was really struggling with where my vanishing points were 
Um, it's so simple once you work out the right perspective, but it's, it is sometimes I can just, I get really lost with where my perspective and vanishing points are. I think because I've got an environmental element to this, it's just the composition of it feels just a little bit off or something. I almost wish that I did a, I really like the characters. I just don't really like the positions that they're in. I wish I did a piece that was one on an angle. I wish I flipped the canvas over so it would be a diamond shaped rather than a square. If you've noticed, I haven't really painted on square shapes or just like plain rectangles and squares for quite some time because I find them a little bit dull. Um, and two, I wish that I took these two characters and had them more floating up in a pink void, um, playing against one another and having a, a lot of cute, beautiful plants kind of like um, bursting out from the center of the both of them. I just feel like we're, them sitting in the swamp just doesn't quite work for me because of the perspective and also the weird toadstool things, although very cute. I think at this scale they kind of lose lose it a little. I really really struggled with the aqua toadstool, especially the scale of it. I haven't really worked out what kind of uh, I just I don't think it looks three dimensional enough and the texture of it I couldn't quite nail down. But yeah, I, I, environments and like flora and fauna. I mean no, not fauna. Um, just flowers and like botanicals and environments have been my weakest point and I'm hoping I can really focus a little bit more and grow with that more this year. That being said, I really love the fur in the Gorilla. I think fur is something that I just really thrive in. I find it really effortless and usually when I find elements in a piece effortless, it comes out pretty well. Um, and because I was struggling so much with the backgrounds and a couple of the more organic bits. Um, yeah, it was really, really difficult. And I, it was really frustrating for me to, it just, it just dragged on for such a long time and I just couldn't figure it out. But, you know, every single piece that you paint is very humbling in that way. Um, I feel like I'm constantly learning by the end of a piece and these videos are such great exercises because I can decipher exactly what went wrong, what was successful, what wasn't. Um, I do, if you guys want to uh, improve on your work, I highly recommend maybe just like as soon as you finish a piece, just write down a list of like what was successful and what wasn't so successful and maybe write down like why they they weren't or were and write down I guess the inspirations and things that anything that was positive during the process you should probably write that down so you constantly remember and everything that's negative during the process write that down too so you can avoid it um I, I just find as soon as you write down that sort of stuff it really helps with the speed of pushing through a painting um but yeah I really love the the bees although kind of creepy um <laughs> they remind me of those faceless sheep I forget what they're called but they're pretty I'll pop a I'll pop a picture of it up here <laughs> I kind of wish I did one bee facing the camera I guess or the or the viewer just so it wasn't so faceless but I just really love the wings on them and um the rainbow tubes too, I love, but yeah, it would have been, I don't know, when I was, when I sketched out the piece, I was really excited about it, but as soon as I started painting, it just wasn't flowing very well. And uh, I think because, I think the scale had a big issue. I had a big issue with the scale too, for some reason. Um, I didn't think I would struggle with the size of the piece, but I think, um, because I've gotten so used to pieces that are just a little bit smaller, I know exactly what kind of textures I should be using with um, more negative areas. <sighs> yeah, if that all makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this piece. Um, like it? What, what elements do you think are successful and what aren't? Um, 
I really, I need some more tips on how to get a little bit better with perspective. Um, any like good videos or other artists on YouTube? Um, any other tutorials that you guys know about perspective? It's definitely my biggest problem and I need to seriously tackle that. I know I should just be drawing lots of cubes everywhere, but even that, that still wigs me out. I think I just need to sketch a lot more. That's really my biggest issue. Some of my favorite parts of this piece are the gorilla's hands and feet. Uh, I tried to make them as wrinkly as possible. Uh, it was really, really difficult trying to find some good reference pictures of gorilla hands. Um, their thumb, I guess, I'm not sure what the proper anatomy is, but their thumb is a lot further back and their palm is a lot longer than a human hand. So I did end up having to use my own hands as reference just to get the textures and like uh, folds in the skin right. Um, I was a little bit wary about getting the hands because they are flesh colored. I was a bit wary about them being too similar to human hand, to human skin. But I think because everything else is so insanely hyper colored, um, it turned out okay. Yeah. I think another thing I could have done with this piece is maybe just add a couple of more characters, but... The sketch had already been uh, approved and a couple of months ago, I did the sketch a couple of months ago prior to painting. So I was really amped on the sketch. And then I think a big problem for me lately has been, I, I'll do the sketch, but I've got a million other things that I need to attend to first. And then I'll tackle the painting. And it's almost like, you've already gotten that idea out of you and it's not fresh and exciting anymore. So I'm trying to shrink that process a lot more. And this year I'm definitely taking on a lot less, uh, a lot less work. So, and by a lot less work, I mean, I won't be doing like group shows anymore and just other little random jobs that I've been doing and focusing too much on um, so I can focus on yeah tarot card stuff and painting my own stuff you know all right guys that's it for today I hope you enjoyed my rambling I hope that all made sense <laughs> Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. If you watched until the end, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe and check out my shop if you want to support the channel. All right, guys. See you next time. Love ya. Bye.